Who really cares about Oliver Francis? Oliver Francis is a well-known underground rapper from Missouri that's made some pretty hot tracks over the past three or four years. His come up has been a lot different than most other people's and today I'm here to tell you why you should care about Oliver Francis. But first, here's the song of the day. You can save me or just watch me drown. You think you know somebody. I really should believe what I saw, but I'm blind. Chances are, if you know my channel, then Oliver Francis is nobody new to you. And even if you paid attention to underground hip hop in the past, three to even four years, then you definitely have heard his name at least a couple of times. Make sure you're sipping water. Cause it's fun. I think a lot of you casual listeners to underground hip hop understand why Oliver Francis is great, but I don't think that you think about it the way that I think about it. But maybe from an artist perspective, so all the artists that are watching, you can learn a couple things and realize what makes him different than most of the other rappers out there. But before we get into all that, let's run it back a little bit and see where he started. <laughs> Now, as Oliver has stated in interviews, he pretty much grew up making music. My whole family, all musicians. Yeah. And most artists delete all their old stuff once they kind of blow up. But it's actually interesting to see that Oliver left a lot of his old material on his YouTube channel. If we scroll to the bottom, we can find stuff that's up to six years old. And most of this kind of consists of him and his early productions, like these kind of weird, obscure lo-fi beats, some rap beats, some sort of vapor, electronic type sounds. Honestly, they were pretty good considering how old it was now Oliver is a hundred percent self-produced I don't know if it's exactly the same these days I'm pretty sure it is though self-produced mix master recorded everything all done by him which is extremely impressive and we all have a, just a general respect for people that are able to do that and in the midst of these productions oliver from time to time would post little vlogs or weird kind of obscure clips of him and his friends adventuring maybe it wasn't necessarily to promote his music but just to kind of put content out there for the little following that he did have and although it doesn't seem like it was a very smart move or that it really had a point at all I actually think that a lot of artists could benefit from doing things like this because fans get really, really attached to you and they really want to know more about your life and just what you're doing. I think Oliver did a really good job of showing that normal everyday stuff that him and his friends were doing. Oliver would also post acoustic covers of his own songs that were nothing short of, well, emo music. Blood on your mattress, along your wrist. Stuff that reminded me a lot of the early 2000s emo rock so we can tell that he was very inspired by that. I mean, you could definitely see it with his look and his image from his early days, but I guess it doesn't necessarily show too much in his music these days. After all, he's not like an emo rapper or anything. But at some point, Oliver started rapping. I don't know if he was always rapping and never posted it or if he had posted a ton of rap songs and deleted them, but if you look from the timeline on his YouTube channel, you see this song. What the fuck is this song called? You see the song LWTGG, which I think stands for Lean with the Grey Goose. And just from what I gathered through people's comments, it looks like this song was one of his bigger songs at the time. Maybe it had 30, 40, 50,000, maybe even 100. And it was posted by Astari, which is a popular YouTube channel. We can imagine it probably gained a few hundred thousand plays maybe and really put Oliver on the map as like a rapper. And it's interesting because pretty much after this song on his YouTube channel, from here on out, it's pretty much all only rap music. So whatever it was about this song, I wasn't listening to him at the time, but it seems like this spurred this thing inside him that said, maybe I can really do this rap stuff. This is finally something that's working for me after I tried the producing, singer, songwriter type things. Rapping seems to be the one that people are getting behind and the one that maybe I could turn into a career, which as we all know, he did. Now I'm not trying to hate on his old music. I think Lean With The Grey Goose was actually a pretty decent song. And if you listen to some of his older songs, they are good, they're decent, but if you listen to it now, Compared to his new music, you would probably think that it's really bad. Aside from maybe a couple songs, like Polo Socks. I mean, that is still just a blammer. I just 
touch your bitch, just a bowl of socks. I mean, he still performs it. It's a great song. But you could tell he had a lot of potential. And this is another point that I want to make. A lot of you in my live stream send me your first song or you've only been making music for a few months. I'm telling you, if you really are dedicated to this in two, three years, it's going to be so much different and probably so much better. So wait, give it time. Another thing that Oliver did and still does that I know he's very passionate about and what I really respect or just generally like about him is the fact that his music videos are are very simple they're very kind of just regular you could tell there's not too much effort but there's enough where it's a good video and he always puts his friends in his videos he never really got built up off a cosign he doesn't really do features he was always just this is me I'm myself, these are my friends, we're doing this together. And there's just a lot of respect in that because it's so hard to grow like that. He was not willing to do this without the support of his friends and have them be successful too, which is something that I really want to do myself. I'm sure over the years he had a ton of opportunities to do big features or go and do videos with other big people, but he just decided not to. For whatever reason, he felt like that would be giving up a piece of something that he worked so hard to gain. To further that point, for you artists out there, you don't have to have a crazy music video. And this is a very, very important piece of information. A great music video can make a bad song kind of decent. I mean, if the video keeps you entertained, the song is like, okay, you'll start to like it. Maybe. But a bad music video has no impact on a great song. And I think Oliver, not saying that his music videos are bad, but compared to what people are putting out now, you would argue that this is just kind of bad or weak or whatever. But all of his songs are so good that it doesn't really matter. And I think Lil Peep's another good example of that. He never really put out that great music videos. Some of them were really high quality, but most people like the low budget ones better because the song is good, the music is great. So keep that in mind. If you're making good music, just put out any video. Video is so important. Just put out something, whatever it is. Now, as Oliver gains more and more popularity, starts doing tours, starts gaining a little bit of money, you would think the next step is to sign to a label. But no, he still hasn't done that. And why? Because he has full creative control and full control over everything that he does. This is something that comes with an independent artist. Sure, he's not the biggest artist ever. He's still underground. And some people might even argue that his hype is kind of lost as far as the potential but you gotta understand he's probably making still a ton of money and it all goes right to him he owns all of his own stuff he doesn't have anybody telling him what to do sure he's not getting you know that nice little paycheck that a label could provide for you and he's not being played on the radio or doing these features or whatever but he's realized what he wanted what he's always wanted, and that's to stay true to himself. Could he find a record label deal and maybe work something out where he can have control? Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't want to be super, super rich and famous. Maybe what he's making right now is good enough. He still has potential to grow, don't get me wrong, but it just takes time. And yeah, labels do help, but they are going to take something from you. And whatever it is that they want to take, Oliver doesn't want to give up. So there's definitely a lot of respect for him on that point as long as, you know, he's happy with his life and the way his career is going. Now, to this day, Oliver is still putting out really, really good, basic, but very good music videos. Great music. I personally think he's still dropping. He's still staying true to his friends. He's still not a sellout or whatever. He knows what his fans like, and he just keeps grinding and playing to his strengths. And just like the video I made about Aries, I just really feel like YouTube has this potential to build a following that no other platform can do for you. But you have to understand that it takes a long time. I mean, this fool has been uploading for six years. That's just what he's left up there. Six years. By no means is he famous or popping or whatever. I don't know what his goals are, but he's definitely making a really, really good living. And it's totally just off of his music. And he's touring and selling out shows. And I've witnessed a couple of them. And trust me, it's great. For all the artists out there, look into YouTube. How can you implement some of the same things as him, but with your own music? That's not copying, that's not biting, that's not stealing. That's nothing, man. That's just giving the fans what they want and what you should do. And things might really change for you. As far as the future of Oliver Francis, I don't really know. I mean, how much longer can it last? I don't, that's hard to say. Does he have to sign a record label deal to, to get bigger? Maybe. You know, does he really have to start doing features? Maybe. I mean, it can really only get so big. So I am highly, highly interested in seeing what the future looks like for Oliver Francis. 
I'm a big fan, and he's the creator, the, he's the artist, so I don't know where he's gonna take it. But he's gotten this far, so there really isn't a doubt in my mind that he could take it the next step. Anyways, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video, and if you didn't know Oliver Francis, I hope that maybe you'll check out his music and you'll like it. And if not, let me know what you think. And to Oliver, keep doing what you're doing, man. We love the music. Really excited for the future. I'm out.